that you tell me to if you need need me to be i will follow oh 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 where you lead la 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 hello everyone it's stooms welcome back to my channel today we are doing a gilmore girls character tier list oh baby i'm so pumped yes i'm a man recording myself giving a tier list and ranking of Gilmore Girls and I watched the whole show first time I've ever watched it just recently I think we just finished it like last week or something my wife and I and uh, I really enjoyed it I really did it was uh, it was a great time without further ado let's get into it I better tell you guys about my rankings so here we have s you know it's obviously the best so I got the goats and goat if you don't know stands for greatest of all time only a special few get selected, but you know, there, there will be some, you'll see. Pretty Liddy, A, they're, they're pretty good characters, they're pretty awesome, but they do have their flaws and they do get annoying at some points, but I still really like the characters and they make, they draw the show forward, they make it interesting, I like them. Pretty I sounds bad, but it's, it's you know, it's a positive inflection. Uh, uh, pretty all right. There are characters that I like, but they do have quite a few flaws and uh, they, their flaws are more apparent than the people in the A tier, all right? Then we got pretty meh for C and meh equals mid. So that means the character is equally as bad as they are good. Like I like them sometimes and then I just really don't like them. And they're just like right at the middle. I don't loathe them. They're, they're just okay, all right? D, we got derp. What the heck does that mean? That means that they're mostly terrible characters, but they have a few moments where they really redeem themselves and come out on top and they're, or they're funny. And usually I don't find them funny, but a few episodes they like redeem themselves. That's derp. And then F, dog water. Don't really need to explain that. It's F, they're terrible. They're the worst. They shouldn't even be in the show. Hate them, loathe them, dog water. Now. Let's get into the drinking. Uh, who is this guy? Uh, one of the townspeople. No name townsperson. Hmm. Don't know. He goes in pretty meh. If I don't actually know anything about them except for a few moments in the show, they go in meh. Next, we got... Anna. Oh, Anna. Okay, so she is the worst, all right? The absolute dog water of dog water. She's not even in it that much, but you just hate her so much, you know? The mother of the daughter that Luke didn't know he had, and she's just annoying. Like, come on, you allowed your daughter to go out and do this stuff, even if you claim to know, did not know she was doing it. Come on, come on. You're the mom. If you're that protective of her, you know everything, okay? Shut the heck up. Stop hating on my boy Luke, and... Just grow up, gosh. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> At first he seemed all right, and then just like the moment he steps his foot forward like this, my daughter and I'm gonna take care of her as well now that I know about her, she gets all pissed. Like, it's your fault, lady. You shouldn't have never let your daughter get into that stuff if you didn't want her father in her life. Okay, that's all on you, boo. Like, jeez, she's terrible. A daughter. Um, this is sad, but... I uh, totally forgot. April, April, sorry. <laughs> okay, April goes in Dirk, and her redeeming quality is that she's a nice kid, she's a nice character, she's cool, and I like her dynamic with Luke and how we see Luke take care of her. Other than that, though, she's placed by the writers of the show to prolong the relationship between Luke and Lorelai, which is so obnoxious. Lorelai and Luke are about to get together, they have the wedding date planned, and then April just appears out of nowhere. And everyone watching is like, okay, they're, they're together, you know? April comes along, a few episodes, okay, well, this is interesting. And then when it gets down to it, Luke is like, let's postpone the wedding. Everyone watching is like, ugh. It's agony, okay? You caused this agony, April, all right? Babette is like uh, teetering between B and C. Pretty all right. Pretty meh. I'll put her, she's like at the bottom of Pretty Eye, okay? And the reason why I don't particularly love her is because I feel like her jokes don't land for me. That some, a lot of them make me feel just uncomfortable, you know? Uh, and she's a little bit crazy. Her voice is sometimes annoying, but she's very uh, redeeming in the fact that 
she is very sweet and she cares about the townspeople and especially Lorelai and Rory and she's always there for them even in her weird way. So she gets pretty eyed for that. <laughs> Christopher, Christopher. <laughs> okay, so he's right up there with Anna for the same reason as Anna. Dude, stop freaking everything up. Oh my gosh, that one episode where he gets pregnant with Shelly, whatever her name is, G for with Gigi. Like, not pregnant with Gigi. Gigi is his daughter. Yeah, he gets he has the baby, Gigi. Whatever. Sorry. Um <laughs> He just that moment was like, you know, that was one of his worst moments. Like, bro, come on. You really had to frick it up that much. Everyone was happy. Lorelai was happy. She's finally getting what she deserves. And then this guy just comes in and ruins it again. Like, bro, how many times? And then later on, when he starts to become just a tad better in season seven, when he's there for Lorelai for a while, he gets mad once about something so petty with Luke. And then uh, he doesn't even show up to his own wife's father's, like, almost deathbed you know he, he like had a heart attack and like everyone was freaking out like you gotta be there for that dude you're the husband and you're pissed off at your wife like you know she did still have feelings for luke and he knew it but you're the one who got but in between them dude you inserted yourself you didn't when lorelei came to your door you didn't turn her away you were like oh uh. and it's funny because i noticed the only time he really like had those lines where he said i love you Laura. i couldn't love anyone more it was after they just like did it you know they got a little busy <laughs> i just thought that was funny you know like uh. <clears throat> it was really after that cake good and good for you man but no nah, he's he's terrible he ruins everything throughout the show terrible 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 all right, juicy, juicy, Dean, my boy, my man. Okay, as a as a as a character, you uh, yeah. hmm, as a character, as a character, yeah, I like April better. He he's uh he he's not great. As he's kind of annoying. He he's he's dumb, and and we we all know why. And uh, you know cheater somebody who's manipulative with even rory who was the person he cheated with and then screwing over his wife like why did you get married you're a loser like that just one moment made him like one of the worst characters right there boom shot and then before that you know if i really think about it if i like personally looked at the character on his own without relation to any of the other characters he's not that great he's okay he, he whatever he's not that great uh doyle i uh, like this guy he is funny he's very funny does he get into the a tier i don't know i love his dynamic with paris it's cool that paris has like a long lasting relationship with this dude because it seemed like you know she was so sad about not being in a good relationship with some dude but uh he he's perfect for her and it's it's so funny watching them let's see uh... oh yeah bottom of a tier pretty litty bro oh Ah. Emily Gilmore, go, 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 Emily Gilmore. Best primary role in the character out of the Gilmore Girls. Her story arc, everything about her character, it's just very cool to see how she grows throughout the show. She's been through a lot, she has a lot of confliction, just from her background and seeing everything that she's gone through and just how hilarious it is, her dynamic with Lorelai. I just think she's just such a special, unique character. And, you know, as a person, she might be difficult to like, you know? She might be somebody who's hard to get along with for everybody, including her own husband. But that kind of is what makes her more of a dynamic character and just uh, extra special how she turns out to be pretty cool in the end, actually, even with Lorelai. And uh, they did a really good job in the remake, too. I was surprised. Like, the Netflix adaptation, like, the first 20 minutes of that, we were like, oh, this, this is too weird. I don't know if I want to watch this. And then they got into it, and I just thought how they capped off Emily's story was super cool. Kind of sad too, a little bit somber. And you know, that's what makes it extra special. I love love feeling the emotions, the sadness in shows and movies. As a counterpoint, I always do love doing counter arguments. A lot of people probably think she would be very annoying, just the way she is and how she has to nitpick about everything and every little thing, you know? But 
Uh, to me, I think it landed perfectly with like the comedic genius of the show, especially with the dynamic of the other Gilmore Girls and the other generations. And what really gets me is those moments where she's like, you know, tearing up because of her relationship with Lorelai and how bad things are going and, you know, how she truly does care so much about her family. She has, she has a hard, you know, it's, it's difficult for her to show it. But she also gets some of that crap too, that Lorelai gets from her, uh, from Trix, right? Um, Richard's mother, she dealt with the same thing. And she was even trying to uproot Emily from their family because she liked the other um, lady that Richard was to marry better. And that's, you know, that's rough. You know, that's, that's tough. Everyone has their own experiences and there's a reason why they are the way they are. And I think that's made super apparent in the show with Emily, and you can give her some slack for some of the things that she does. Her worst moment definitely was going in cahoots with Christopher. But at the end of the day, that's more Christopher's fault than hers. I don't fault her for that. That is such an Emily thing to do in that situation, because she is very manipulative. <laughs> Christopher is the one who decided to go along with it and actually listen to her, and then he got drunk, and he yelled at Lorelai in the middle of the show, and then ruined Lorelai. And uh, Luke's relationship and like that was all him that wasn't her she just like fed him it and it was his decision what he wanted to do with it he could have been smart but of course Christopher as always is super dumb but still you know it's kind of crummy that she would do that totally understandable that Lorelai would be pissed at her and yeah it's just so much drama dude and I think the drama with Emily is always done so perfectly in the show and I really like her character she's pretty awesome one of my favorites Hey, Gil, my man. This guy is so cool, dude. This guy is awesome. I love him. How he brings, like, the family arc to the rock band and how he's just a chill dude. He's super good at what he does. Jackson, hey. Jackson, my man. Okay, um, I think he's a solid A. I think he's a solid A. I think he goes above Doyle, yeah. I just love how uh, Suki and Jackson's relationship was, like, born from their constant fight, fighting and bickering with that. It's always so sweet to see how like fighting relationships are actually just like sweet and it, it turns out that they actually like each other. Like it's not real fighting, it's like banter. And I thought that was so sweet and perfect for Suki who's a very like firecracker kind of character. And I think he's just like a perfect man for her. And I love how they're like the first, you know, big relationship in the sh in the show to really take off, and they had a couple kids. They're, they're they're a nice little family, and they're awesome for that. I love that. Always appreciate that. Oh, 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 oh Jess! Oh man, here we go. The nitty gritty. Notice I didn't talk about Dean at all. We'll get to that once we get through all of the relationship peeps. All right, all the mains. Jess here. Uh, nah, dude. Jess. Yeah, he's a solid A. He's pretty litty. His arc through the show is pretty epic, similar to Emily in a sense, overcoming some adversity and troubles in his life and turning out better for it. I think that was pretty cool to see him in later seasons. And I wish there was a little bit more of him. You know, you he was like almost like a cameo in the later seasons, just like one episode in, other episode out, never came back. Yeah, like, and even his during his relationship with Rory wasn't that long, which uh, is probably a good thing. We'll get into that though later. <gasps> oh. Yes, let's go! Yes! Mm. The goat! The goat! The goat! It's the goat! The goat! The goat! Yeah. Yeah. Let's go! <sighs> okay, do I have to say more? Kirk the best character in the show, all right? Man's got like some kind of mental instability. He's, you know, he's a little bit crazy, but he doesn't care. He's a strong man. He's, you know, he's he's alpha, bro. He, he doesn't care. He doesn't let anything get in his way. Not even Luke, who's like always hollering at everybody. Like he just, he just does what he does. He does what he wants to do. And he's funny and he's weird and that's great. He's amazing. He's awesome. I love Kirk. He's amazing. He's awesome, I already said that. But I just would like to reiterate, he is so cool. He is just, just the goat in all aspects, you know? I just really think his comedy, out of all the side characters, lands the most. And you do see a little bit of progression with his character. He's always the same, always doing a bunch of weird stuff, but not caring what anybody else thinks. Everyone knows he's weird. And I think he probably knows he's weird too, 
but he just doesn't care, you know? He's just gonna keep doing what he does. He makes movies, he's had 115 jobs. That was like his funniest moment when he's like talking smack at Luke, dude. Oh my gosh. He's just so awesome. Love him, love him. Lane, Lane, that's a toughie. That's a big toughie. Yeah, I think she's at the very top of the pretty eye tier, B. I wouldn't say there's that much to dislike about her, but there's nothing that really made me think, yes, Lane, she's my favorite. There, there was nothing there for me for that. Um, she has a very interesting past, very interesting dynamic in the show, especially with her mom. I like her relationship with Rory. She's, she's cool. That, there's not a lot I can say, you know, um, a lot of her special moments are there because of her connection with another character. So I give the other character a little bit more credit, in, in my opinion. I just don't think, you know, she acted great. I'm not saying her acting was, was bad, but I just don't think, like, there was anything super special about her. But there was also nothing that bad about her. And I heard a podcast that my wife was listening to that talked about how they were so sad that they butchered Lane's character by making her pregnant and unable to follow her dreams. Like, what? What? I, I didn't see that at all. There was a moment when she could have gone on tour with the kiddos in season seven with Zach, and she was just like, oh, I better stay home with, with um, the kiddos and take care of them because my mom is here to support me and all this stuff. I didn't take that. I didn't think that was the show signifying that her dreams are shot. You know, and there was a few moments when she seemed stressed out, but she was still rocking. She was rocking when she was pregnant, I'm pretty sure. And then she continued to play music with the guys later, even after having the kids. And I didn't see that at all. She was still able to follow her dreams. She was a strong woman who decided to get married. She didn't want to get pregnant that fast. Um, and she did know that having kids was going to like stunt her in her growth as a rock star, but she still was a rock star. She was still drumming at the end of the show, even after having kids. And I just, why is, you know, the family aspect a bad thing? I think that's great. I think they did her character quite a bit of good justice by giving her a big old family. And then she's still at least trying to keep up with her dream. And I thought that was special. And that's probably the most epic thing about Lane for me. But again, nothing too spectacular, nothing too hilarious or anything that made me want to say, yes, yeah, she's one of the best. She's great, you know? All right, Leslie. Um, I was going to put her at A, but since she's hardly in the show, I have to put her at B after talking about Lane. But let's just say she got done dirty, bro, okay? And I would just like to say, Dean, what, what are you doing, huh? There's Leslie right here, okay? She's, she's pretty, I mean, she's blonde, all right? Come on. Get, get, what is Rory Gilmore, huh? You got a fine person with Leslie, and you know, I'm biased because my wife is blonde, of course, but what are you doing, bro? The, the, the lady made you like a big pile of meat on your plate, and it, it was supposed to be your favorite food, and she made it special for you. Like, come on, that's, that's all you could ever dream, bro. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Treat her right? She's treating you great? Like, God idiot so she just automatically gets a high rating i really want to put her at a but i don't want to put her above lane so i'm just gonna keep her here uh because she was done absolutely dirty and she deserved so much more because she is cool uh logan Ooh, all three of the players are on the board folks <sighs> logan gets a b is he above lane yeah, yeah i think he's above lane okay so as far as logan goes I think he's a pretty cool character, but he's got a lot of flaws. I believe he puts himself higher than he should be because he's got a lot of issues and, you know, he's, he's a rich kid. You know, he's the epitome of a rich kid and that automatically makes him a bit, you know, worse of a character, of course. But he is also pretty bad off at times, pretty good for Rory, oh, about to get into that, baby. But he just, he makes a lot of, like, dumb mistakes that he shouldn't and then tries to justify them which i don't really like that much he should take a little bit more responsibility and he did towards the end he did take a lot more responsibility but as far as his relationship with 
Rory. When he first came on the screen, I was like, who is this guy? Is this Logan? Oh, look at his ears, bro. They're like piping hot red. What the heck? And then, <laughs> I genuinely thought that, by the way. And then, um, he, like, later in the show, he has a few moments where he's, like, acting all swaggy, you know, like, I was like, okay, okay, this man's got some riz. Like, you know, hey, if I was, you know, I'm a straight man, but I would let this guy riz me up. Let me tell you, he's got that. Is, bro. I appreciated him for that and I can see why Rory fell for that. And now let's talk about the relationships, bro. Uh, I think the Logan, at the time he was in the show, was the best for Rory out of all three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know. And then, second, after him, Dean. If I had to rate Dean's relationship with Rory, I would put it at a solid A. <laughs> okay? At the time that they were dating. Not the second time. Or the, wait, not the third time, not the third time, no, 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 no. But early on in the show, like season two, season three, whatever, that early time, best for Rory for that time. Logan, better than him, um, but still, he's like second best, not by a huge margin. Jess, as far as the relationship that he had with Rory at the time in the show, dog water, bro. Dog water, okay? Hear me out, all right? Hear me out. Let's put these back where they belong. Come on, I don't want to mess this up. Get out of A, bro. Get, get, get out of A, okay? Um, and you go back there. Okay. Everyone that I've heard online, I've done a little bit of research of, you know, viewpoints people have. All the girls watching Gilmore Girls are like, eh, Jess, uh. He like literally walks out of the bus and everyone, all the girl, younger girls watching him I'm like oh my gosh you know <laughs> and then with dean everyone says like oh he was manipulative he was jealous he wasn't good for rory he didn't take her forward in life and his chemistry is terrible oh my gosh chelsea did you see dean and rory their chemistry is terrible oh my gosh tiff don't even start oh, i don't even want to think about that dean uh... <laughs> stop okay they their chemistry was fine. It wasn't great. But as far as his goal in their relationship, as far as the way he was with Rory at the time, and you got to remember they were 16 when they started dating. They were youngsters, all right? So if they met at a different time later, neither of them were married. <laughs> um, and they were adults. I think their relationship really could have taken off and done really well. And at the end of the day, Rory always appreciated him. Appreciated him for good reason. And that reason is because he was safe. There's a lot of value in that. And also he I think a lot of the reason why a lot of people don't like him in the show as far as the relationship goes is because he's like traditional, you know. And what I mean by that is he respects the family. He goes out of his way to do the things that his woman likes, and he starts to enjoy them himself too. You know, he um, goes to all the weird town fairs. You know, none of Rory's boy toys are from Stars Hollow, and he does the best acclimating to the new area, the new culture, if you will, you know, of Stars Hollow. And that's great. You want that relationship with the family is the most important thing. Like one of the, okay, one of the most important things for a relationship. If you don't have that, you're going to have so many issues. No matter how strong your love is for one another, you gotta at least have a more positive than negative relationship with the in-laws. And the in-laws being the entire town of Stars Hollow, but especially Lorelai, he was very respectful to Lorelai and that was cool to see. And that's why he's not dog water as a character, even after cheating on his wife, all right? I give him props for being respectful and being like just a genuinely good person around Rory's relatives, family, friends, you know? What else was it? Oh yeah, and then to talk about his jealousy, all of the scenarios that people refer to him being jealous, I think he was very valid for being jealous. Tristan was straight up like trying to slide in, like slide. He was trying to slide immediately. Like he was just going for those kisses and then Rory ended up kissing him in the end, you know. But uh, like he was, he was gunning for it. And so was Jesse. Jesse was crazy, bro. Like trying to beat up Dean and stuff at a certain point. Like 
man's gonna get jealous. Like, these guys are out here, like, thirsting, bro. Thirsting. And then he admits defeat with Logan, because, poof, that Riz, bro. Oh, my gosh. But, um, like, I think his, you know, at the beginning, it was, it was very respectable. And I understand the guy. You're not attracted to him as a person um, or his character. So you're just going to say, oh, bad chemistry because I don't like him. Like, that's not, you just don't like him. Okay. But as far as the relationship itself, it was good for Rory. It was the best for her at that time. Now, Jess, on the other hand, God, terrible to Rory, terrible. And when we saw them on screen after getting together, remember that moment when she was like, oh, I thought you liked going to all these events with me and stuff. And then he said something along the lines of, yeah, well, I, I did to get your attention, but now that I have you, I don't have to. Like, really? That just That's a huge red flag, by the way. That's a huge red flag. But no, he walks off the bus and like everyone's like, oh, we love Jess, he's so hot. Another example, remember that one time she wanted him to come to a hockey game? He was like, no, I, I, I don't like doing that stuff. I'll, I'll blah, blah, blah. And then it, she doesn't hear from him at all. She gets out late, like at 11 or something from the hockey game. And he's like, hey, you wanna go to this cuttlefish concert with me? And she was like, uh, I guess, uh, like, what? <laughs> ah, terrible, okay, terrible. Not dependable, bad communicator, rude to everyone in the town. Like he was a douchebag to everyone but Rory, straight up, like no cap. And you just wanna love him because he's hot? Like, come on, he was terrible. And then later in the show, when he influences Rory, at that moment, when Logan was screwing up, and he, uh, Jess was telling Rory to wake up and like actually follow your dreams. I kind of wished as well that she would have gone with him and started dating him again. That would have been, I, I would have been fine with that at that point because he changed his life and he knew what was important to him and he wised up and became a better person to the people around him. Uh, he became a super valuable character and that's why I like him as a character because he overcame all those negative aspects of his personality, quite frankly, um, towards everyone else around him. And I really liked that. But as far as the relationship, as far as when he was dating Rory, he was the worst boyfriend by far compared to the other two. Okay, I rest my case, all right? <laughs> and then Logan, yeah, I think he made a lot of mistakes and he should have owned up to a lot more, but I still, you know, vibed with him and Rory the most out of all three. But I do feel like he was a bad influence on Rory at certain points. When she started par partying and not following her dreams anymore, Jess is the one that brought her back, not Logan. If she continued to be with Logan, well, she did continue to be with Logan, but if she hadn't met up with Jess and he didn't snap her out of her funk, she would have continued to ruin her life. And she continued to do that anyways. But still, um, <laughs> uh, he was the one that kept her on track. You know, so that was great later in Jess's life. And Logan kind of held her back and she continued to, or he continued to hold her back. And their relationship dynamic was terrible, dude. Like the, if you, if you want a polygamous, what's the word, you know, dating multiple people. And then also the fact that they were keeping it a secret from everyone, like, and he was getting married at the end, uh, in the, in the ending seasons, like, it's not a good relationship, Rory. That's, that's, that's not great. He's a bad influence. Your guys' chemistry together at the time was the best, but later in life, you guys should have... Like, they, they broke it off because she didn't want to marry him, which I thought was a super dumb decision, by the way, especially after finding out that they were still together but just not married. What are you doing? Get married to the guy. He has a lot of bad moments for Rory, but at the end of the day, he's, you know, part of that rich family, the you know, the heads of the household of Rory, Rory, Rory's family, the Gilmores are rich as well. They have good standing and a good relationship with them. And he was always respectful at the end of the day. And you know, he's got that Riz, you know? Can't blame him for that Riz. I think Logan was the best for Rory. Dean was worse, but not too much worse until he cheated on his wife. Then he suddenly became the worst, even worse than Jess, I totally get that. And he was obsessed. He became obsessed, but that was later. That was like season five, okay? 
Earlier on, season two, season three, Dean was fine with Rory, and he they, he was a good guy for her. Okay, I'm done talking about that. That was a huge tirade, but I had to get that out there because that is the most talked about thing about Gilmore Girls, is Rory's relationship. Lorelai, baby! Lorelai is a solid character. She definitely has flaws. She definitely gets annoying, all right? And she definitely makes some really dumb decisions, like that time that she slept with Christopher the same day that she broke up with Luke. Like, bruh. Like, I almost put her, like, derp because of that, but you, yeah. But other than that, she's always keeping Rory on track for her stupid-ass decisions. She's also very understandable as a character. I'm like, okay, I feel you. I feel you, Lorelai. Like, it makes sense why you're going through this and why you're conflicted about this. Her relationships, not so much. I think that's the part that annoys me the most about her is her relationship choices and everything she does with relationships is terrible um, except till the very end when they finally let us get the resolution we've been looking for Luke marrying Lorelai like finally come on so that's definitely what doesn't put her at S tier um, because that's just so annoying her decisions but I think as far as you know keeping the show going uh, and rolling for as long as it did Lorelai was the perfect candidate and I think she did a great job at the acting even the fast talking, even the rambling, like I thought it was entertaining. She was funny. I thought she was very funny. And just her connection with all the other characters was very cool. And yeah, she was, she was a pretty special character. We'll get into more her relationships when we finish the last main guy. I don't even think there's a single main Lorelai relationship guy here yet. I don't think so. Oh, except for Christopher. <laughs> Luke, my boy, my man. Go, go, go. Hmm, is he better than Emily though? Is is he better? Ooh, tough waters, tough waters. You know what? Which is the decision that he made that made him really dumb, and that was postponing the wedding. We all knew that was gonna happen with April, but still, you're an idiot, bro. And then he was very dense in a lot of the relationship dismisses with Lorelai, and that kind of ruined their vibes together you know, because he was so dense, like, she said this, and she means something else, that's kind of, you know, what they say a lot of women are like, and he just did not get that, he's got a man, waffle brain a thousand percent, you know, so he, he just didn't get some of that stuff, like, man, th th this means you're supposed to go to her, and go back and, and, and love her, and be there for her, all right, this doesn't mean you screw off, okay, like, come on, bro, come on, uh, but other than that, Epic, epic, epic character. Love him. He keeps the show going. He's the tension that we're always getting with Lorelai. He's perfect for Lorelai. He cares about the entire family, the town. Even though he hates the antics of the town, he still does stuff for them just because he's that kind of guy. He'll, he'll deal with it. And he might complain about it, but like he'll still do it. And he's a handyman. He can do pretty much anything. And um, he's content. He's strong. Alpha, just like Kirk here. He does what he does what he wants no matter what anyone else says except for Lorelai, which is understandable because he's loved her for a very long time in the show. Yeah, no, just a solid character, very sweet, and his like connection with Rory and how much he cares about Rory. He he loves Rory just as much as any of the other main characters in the show, like seriously. And that's just really cool to see. And uh, very sweet, very funny. His dynamic with Lorelai is perfect. Um, same similar bickering relationship as Jackson and Suki, so that's very special. He's just awesome. Everybody loves Luke. Come on now. Lulu! <laughs> Let's go! She is an A. Just, I'm gonna put her right above Gil because she's just, she is Kirk's bae. And she's, she's hot, dude. She's pretty. Like, come on now. Let's go, Kirk! Let's go! But yeah, automatic A++++ for being uh, Kirk's beau, giving him a chance even though he's weird. And she seems like a really sweet person and perfect for Kirk, quite honestly. Probably one of the prettiest people on the show, quite honestly. <laughs> Lulu. And she's with Kirk, which makes it so much better. So, uh, let's go Lulu. Ah, Marty. Haha. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Below Dean, okay? Below, below Dean. You're... You're kind of pathetic, buddy. But, again, not an F, because I feel the guy. 
you know, the guy doesn't have much game. He doesn't got that riz like Logan does. And I get that. Yeah, that whole bit with, you know, him being with Rory's friend and then both of them being, then Rory and him keeping it a secret that they knew each other. Like, come on, bro. Like, what, what, what are you doing? Okay, she, she, she's fine, okay? She's better than Rory, okay? Think about Rory's character, all she's done. Not that you would know about it, but still, from the outside, like, come on, Rory, Rory, Rory. No, bro, no, no. Max Medina, Max, Max Medina. Uh, okay, he's still A, but he's at the bottom. I think he's a cool character. He's a good relationship with Lorelai. I think they get along great. I think all the players are on the board for Lorelai. Christopher, terrible. Already talked about that. So in like not dependable at all. Luke is the exact opposite. Very dependable, very caring for Lorelai, even when he gets super angry and worked up, you know, with her antics. Like, come on, every any guy would be worked up about her antics at some point. Let's let's be honest here, okay? He has his moments. He has his moments of density and dumbness, but solid pick for Lorelai. Christopher's terrible. And Max Bedina was alright. If she if he got married to Lorelai, I think that would have worked out. And he had a good relationship with Rory. He also cared not quite as much as Luke, let's be honest. But um he was a solid dude, and I think out of the three of them, like, that's who I'd go for. He has his issues, you know, he has his moments where it's kind of weird with him and Lorelai. And they may have moved too fast, but again, like, with Lorelai's track record, just get married. Like, what are you doing? You're, you're She's so pursuant of those kind of relationships that are long-lasting, and she always self-sabotages. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying... Like, I'm all for marriage. I am a pro-marriage person. But, you know, marriage doesn't have to be the solution to everything. But, like, if she got married to one of these guys, all the turmoil that she went through in later seasons would have been avoided. And she would have been just as happy, I think, at least. Like, I don't know. Because um, at this point in the show, she didn't realize she had feelings for Luke yet. So, it would have been okay. It would have been okay. Michelle, my man. Michelle. Michel, Michel. Not S tier, because I feel like he does have annoying moments. He rambles on for a little bit too much, but I do think he's hilarious, and I do love how everyone loves him, and yet he continues to be just a little brat to everyone, and it's just so funny. Miss Patty. She is pretty much exactly the same as Babette. Like, that can't really be denied, but what makes her pretty... What makes her above Miss... Above Babette? I think I'm gonna put her here. What what pulls her over the edge of Babette is that one song that she sings about Brazil. They got an awful lot of coffee is <laughs> I just saw that scene and I was like, okay, you know what? Miss Patty is just amazing. She's hilarious. So she gets ah, she gets above Leslie. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, Miss Kim. <laughs> Okay, I do not hate Miss Kim. That's definitely not true. There's not a lot of bads about her. Honestly, Miss Kim is hilarious. Okay, I think I think she's so funny. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. Bottom of A tier for me. Uh, she definitely has flaws. She's obviously over traditional. She's crazy. But even with her, she's like worse than Emily with tradition. Even with her... She has a soft spot and she does care about Lane. And I think it's so like, honestly cute. Cute is the best word to describe it. I wouldn't normally use that word, but it's cute. The way she comes alongside Zach and supports him in his career and wants him to not give up, you know? Um, and I think that's so sweet. Like she cares about that more than her values about like not liking rock and roll music or all that. And I just think that's so special. Like he, she actually does care about her peeps especially Lane, and she was always there for Lane, technically. She did kick her out of the house. That's probably, like, the most negative thing. But she was sad about it, you know? And the reason why she did that was because I think she comes from a very long line of family... Well, long family line of being overly traditional and overly strict, you know? So that you... You gotta give her some slack for that, you know? And at the end of the series, she was there for Lane and Zach, and she was sweet to them, and she she cared for them. Um, she was kind of crazy, and that's kind of what made her likable, because <laughs> it was just hilarious. And she was, like, talking about the hellhounds with Zach. Like, that was just so funny, dude. Paris. 
A hey, Paris. Okay. Um. Yeah, she's better than Jess. Come on now. Yeah. Yeah. Lorelai has a little uh, Michelle Paris sandwich going on there. Um, Paris is solid. Again, every character in the show has an annoying moment. I ain't gonna lie. I think she's just kind of just insane, insanely hilarious, and just she is out of control, you know. And that's what makes her cool. And her dynamic with Rory. Uh, them being good friends together. It's kind of sweet, you know? It's kind of sweet in its own way, and she is crazy, and she's super hyper jealous, hyper everything, you know? She's just, and her opinions are a lot of the times out of whack, but I think she's a very special character, and she keeps the show going, and she's a good counterpoint to Rory, who's like, prim and perfect in me. Rory! 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 Okay, at the end of the day, I like her better than April, but like, uh, Rory, Rory, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, remember that one scene where like there was a mirror between Lorelai and Rory and they were both having a really bad day and they're both going to their boy toys crying. You know, Luke was there like, oh my, Lorelai was like, my business is failing, uh, I'm estranged from Rory or whoever it was, or Emily or, or whoever, and my life is kind of falling apart because I'm about to lose all my money and go bankrupt. Ah, terrible, it actually is pretty terrible. Then Rory goes to Dean, and she starts crying because she got like a B plus on a paper. It's like, ugh, like, God, Rory, you're so dumb. And then all her decisions with her boyfriends, and stuff, remaining with Logan after turning him down for the marriage, breaking up, or forcing Dean to break up with her so that she could be with Jess, who was awful to her, and then hiding a bunch of things from Lorelai and her boyfriends, caring so much about her grades, and then squandering it later by not doing the best she can and being super dumb in her career, super selfish and entitled, all the time and just annoying like so many bad decision after bad decision especially mid-season you know season seven was probably her best consistent moment because there were moments there in season seven where i thought lorelei was dumb you know with the whole relationship with christopher and all that and i was like with rory and one thing i like about rory is that she gets on christopher the idiot that he is she's like stay away from my mom please and i was like yes rory points for you bro um but and her dynamic with lorelei is sweet in their positive moments and then her little one-liners with lorelei for her antics are good and she has again season seven she had a few really good wise moments that go against lorelei's stupid moments and i appreciate that but whole deal with Mitchum to her deciding to give up her journalism career like bro and then deciding that and believing in her heart that her relationship with Dean as he was married was right and she had a right to it and she was upset that other people were upset at her for cheating with a married man like bro really really how confused are you like she picked up the phone and Dean's wife actually picked up and she cried but then later she was still trying to defend him and them together and uh and then later she didn't even value their relationship together and probably because they did it by they literally did it <laughs> by cheating on somebody and ruining their life like god of course everyone is going to be against you rory and then Oh man, I, I don't know. Like, you had, yeah, the, the, wait, yeah, I just thought this in my head. You had your chance with Dean, Rory, and you blew it with Jess, who was terrible to you. And that's on you, bro. That's on you for leaving a guy that actually cared about you, you know? And Jess didn't have his shiz together yet, and in another life, if she met Jess later when he was all put together, perfect. Perfect for each other, sure. But at that time, Jess was terrible, and she still felt for him because he walked off that bus with his jacket. He was a baddie. Ah! And then just everyone fell in love with him. And then it just ruined her. Boop, 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 boop. Suki. Okay. Suki. Bottom of B tier. Pretty aight. Okay. I'm sorry, but like 
some of her moments are just really annoying. Like, why are you so bent out of shape about the food, you know? That's her thing, and that's supposed to be funny, but I just feel like there's certain moments where it just gets exceedingly annoying, and I just don't like it. Like, calm down, Ziggy, there's no reason for you to freak out, and leave my man Luke alone. He owns a diner, he's a good cook, okay? Stop, get off him, you know? And those moments were really tedious for me, but again, like Rory, towards the end of the season, she was putting a lot of good sense into Lorelai's brain who was making a bunch of dumb decisions. So props for that, props for being a sweet person, props for being the first family person and her dynamic with Jackson is so sweet and awesome. And she is a cool character, uh, this is pretty all right. She's not, she's above meh, you know, she's above mid, but I just feel like she got a little bit too annoying for me at times, that's it. Tristan, it was all right. Um... You can tell that they kicked him out of the show prematurely and he was supposed to be like love interest for Rory probably. And I was fine with that. I didn't think he was that great. I did think he was kind of terrible with to Rory. She was dating. He was being obnoxious. She said no. He kept persisting. And then he got all butt hurt because she said no. Like, it's not that great. And everyone's probably cheering because they hate Dean and he's gonna replace her. No, I disagree. Dean is better for her than he is, but as a character by himself and his dynamicness to the show and drama that he causes is interesting, so he gets a B. But as far as in a relationship, he would also get an F, like Jess and Zach. Bum ba da ba ba bum, final S tier. I don't know what it is about Zach, he's in the show for like a very little amount of time, far less than the other three mains on here, but I just think he's hilarious. He's so sweet. He's also dense, but he's just like trying his best with Lane and he doesn't know what to do with his feelings. And he does care for Lane so much, but he also agrees with her on so many things. He's accepting of her and some of her antics because she gets like a little bit over the top sometimes. I love how he grows that little godfather relationship with Luke. It's, I don't know, he's just so sweet and his dynamic in the band is hilarious. Good singer on the band too, not as good as Gil, but um, you know, pretty solid character. I really like him, he, he was hilarious. So he gets S tier for me. There's nothing I say that I dislike about him. And I thought his like jealous rage when he ruined that one uh, night where they were performing was kind of comical, you know? I didn't find that too annoying. I thought that was funny. But anyways, this is it, bro. This is the tier list. We only got four goats. Those are made especially for the people I absolutely love only. We got quite a few people in A, and look at the majority of people are in C, and that's just because I didn't know half these people. So we can ignore like half of this list um, and a lot of B tier. We have more Fs than we have A Ss. I didn't know that would happen. And we have more Ds than we have As. Oh, I am just an opinionated person. I love this show. This show gets a solid A. Probably above M Michelle, baby. It's a great show. It had its annoying moments and it's a little drawn out, but hey, it was an awesome show, great time. I really loved watching it with my wife and now I have no idea what we're gonna watch together anymore because we've been watching it for the past six months straight up. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this absolutely random video. Um, that was so fun to me, for me to make, by the way. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope people outside my audience watch this because my audience is pretty much all dudes who like gaming. So <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys will like this, but I hope you do anyways. And I hope more people who are also opinionated, opinionated about the show also watch this because I want to see your guys' comments. Comment down below if you disagree. Disagree with me. Let's go. Let's have a discussion. Let's go. Thank you so much for watching again. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I hope to see you all in the next video. Ba bye ba 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 la 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 la